When life throws you to the wolves, show them the strength of the pack. In times of hardship, unity is our greatest weapon. Together, we are unstoppable. Together, we defy the wolves. When faced with adversity, remember, strength lies in unity. Why is it that somebody you just met will support you harder and stronger and more genuine than the people you've known your whole life? Why is that? Why is it that the people who you just coming across, just crossing paths with and, and don't know you from a can of paint will show you more respect, honor, and dignity than the people who you've known your whole life or have real ties or real bonds with? Why? How is that possible, y'all? How is it possible for somebody you just met to look to show more support and more love than somebody you know in your whole fucking life how is it possible that somebody you just met that shows more love support love and appreciation support is free appreciation is free respect is free honor and dignity are free how could you be around somebody? This is what I don't understand. Because I'm explaining to y'all. You could have gave birth. You could have gave birth to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Or however many coming. You could have gave birth to the next Jesus Christ. And you sitting around ignoring them. Or ignoring this person. Because you think you know what they are. And you think you know who they are. When you when you when you have a child, right? When you have a child, you have children. You don't know what they're going to become. When you have a child or you have children, you don't know what the end of their road is going to be like. Look. First and foremost, SS, big shout out to you SS because this this whole live is inspired by you. I wasn't going to go live because it's late. Break it down one time, man, no one can do it better. Hey, mouth swinging, man, we on another level. They not up yet, and I foot on the pedal. That hate don't get to me, cause I know that it's the devil. Linked up with Bay Day, and we started something special. Say we standing on business, we trying to put it together. It's work, man, it's lighter than a feather. When I walk in the room, they already feel my presence. When you hear a time burst, there's no way you can't forget it. Still think about the days when I stay up. But shit, man, I just got off work. I had to get my ducks in a row, go to the store, get a couple things. And I, the show must continue. Let me explain something to you, SS. First and foremost, salute, salute, salute to you. You are my number one. Uh, I'm not saying my number one viewer, but you're my number one supporter. My number one supporter. You might not be my number one viewer. You might be not be... But you, my, you are definitely my number one supporter. And let me explain something to you, SS. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your appreciation. And I appreciate your gestures of, of, uh, of respect. And your gestures of you uh, showing appreciation for me. You, you know just as well as everybody else knows in the world. You don't have to. Right? But let me explain something to you. We trying to keep up with the Jones so we can't see what's going on. We trying to keep up with the Jones so we can't see what's going on. We trying to keep up with the Jones so we can't see what's going on. We trying to keep up with the Jones. You don't understand the effect or the impact you're having on somebody when you're doing something, especially if you're doing something positive, right? Uh, so we can see what's going on. But 
but let me explain something. There's multiple different ways to somebody to show their appreciation, right? We trying to keep up with the Jones. Um, you can show it by supporting, you can show it by watching, you can show it by understanding what I'm saying, you can show it by um you don't have to agree, but you can show it just by understanding what I'm saying, right? But how is it possible? For somebody like Big Bad Eight to be as great as I am. No, thank you, SS. For real. Thank you. For real. And I and you're welcome for me being for me doing what I'm doing. You're very welcome. But thank you for uh supporting because you like I said, you're my number one supporter, man. And that means the world to me. I, I wish it was some type of VIP uh, special reward I could give to you. But you know what I'm saying though, G-O-A-T You know what I'm saying though, the competition weak You know what I'm saying though, you know You know what I'm saying though, I say scree But you know what I'm saying though, G-O-A-T Do you know what I'm saying though, the competition weak You know what I'm saying though, you know You know what I'm saying though it go one, two, three, man, they playing hot see. They hide it in our face, and it's not that hard to see. Just take a look around, if you still don't believe. They moving them in, and they put us on the street. Some look the other way, and some turn the other cheek. Some miss the bus, and some run with me. I'm trying to save us all, and I'm trying to take a seat. When you hear time verse, man, they press and repeat. What the children gon' do if we let this thing be? I'm open for three, like I'm Fred Van V. I came to shake it up, they move on to plan B. How they say he at the top, he ain't even past me. Come on. Street. But you know what I'm saying, though, G-O-A-T. You know what I'm saying, though, the competition weak. You know what I'm saying, though, you know. You know what I'm saying, though, I say scree. But you know what I'm saying, though, G-O-A-T. Do you know what I'm saying, though, the competition weak. You know what I'm saying, though, you know. You know what I'm saying, though. Could you be sitting around watching fat, false, fantasy prophets how could you be sitting around watching fake false religious uh religious doctrine and fake bullshit when you got somebody like big betty in your fucking life and this goes to show we have never appreciated the ones who came before us our forefathers who come before us to, t to teach us or show us the another way the real way we have never appreciated our true leaders never These sorry motherfuckers only just be around you to get what you got. And after they get what you got, they go on about their business. Motherfuckers will come here, watch what I'm doing, try to take my glory, try to take my story, try to take my motherfucking theology and my thought process and try to bring it and put it and create it in their own channels and in their, in the, in their own way. That's why I drill this motherfucking YouTube. That's why I get on here every day to show you, you can't, you cannot do what I do. I get on here every day to show the haters, to motivate the people who listen, but to show the haters, you have no nail. You have no nail. You have no nothing in this fight of justice. You have no nothing in this fight of righteousness. You're just a, a spectator. When you hear Big Bad A speak, when you hear Big Bad A talk, when you hear Big Betty get on here and tell you what's going on, that's what the fuck is going on. I have never got online to hear myself talk. I have never got online to, to get money and, and, and get fame and fortune. Never. I only started to get online to communicate with my family first because when I moved away from the city I used to live in, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute too. When I left the crab barrel that everybody else was still in, the crabs that are, I left behind in the barrel, a lot of them don't fuck with me. 
Because let me explain something to you. Misery loves company. And most people, if you're not miserable with them, they don't want you to be around them. He wasn't there with us when we was getting it out the mud. He wasn't there with us when we was fucked up and scuffling. He wasn't there with us when we was working hard. You see this whole theology, the thought process that they have us thinking? They have us dismissing each other at every fucking angle. The true leaders who are good for you, you are always programmed to do them wrong, discredit them, and even turn them over and turn them in. The sheer disloyalty of y'all. The sheer disloyalty of these fucking humans on this earth. The children come first. And the children come first. The children come first. And the children come first. The children come first. And the children come first. The children come first. And the children come first. Before it's too late, gotta turn this thing around. If we don't stop now, we gon' burn it to the ground. Malcolm X died for this, but look at us now. He's smiling in the sky, cause I'm trying to make him proud. They say that they the ghost, but I don't see how. I left them ten times and they still ain't figured out. I did to be different, I don't fit in with the crowd. I'm trying to build it up and they trying to tear it down. They say they at the top, they don't know who got the crown. They went inside the door, man, I went the other route. At first they was loud, now you can't hear a sound. Couldn't hear me from the back, so I gotta say it loud. The children come first. Man, the children come first. The children come first. Man, the children come first. The children come first. Man, the children come first. The children come first. Man, the children come first. To sit around and hear the truth and be around the truth and have nothing positive to say about it. Thank y'all for the people who do support me. At the end of every time I speak, it's only a few people every time. You know why? Let me explain something to y'all. Let me explain something to you. I'm going to SS. I'm going to read your comment in just a second. The reason why we don't have nobody really big, a big crowd after the end of my lectures and my sermons is because... I separate, Big Bad is here to separate the real from the fake. Big Bad is here to separate the fake from the fucking real. When you come, you come to a Big Bad A lecture, if you're a fake person, it's going to strike your fucking nerves. If you're a fake person that's doing fake, fake bullshit, if you're not really in living in the truth, you're going to be pissed after you watch my shit. You're going to get triggered. You know why? Because you was already a loser, but then somebody like Big Betty will come around and, and not have the not be scared to tell you the truth that you're a fucking loser. The truth that you're not doing nothing for society. The truth that some people don't deserve to be here. See, we have to have people who are able to discern the real from the fake. Who, the, the people who can separate the wheats from the tares for my Bible thumpers. It's been this way since birth, it's a gift and a curse I tried to fit in, but it just didn't work You know it's just in time, every time I drop a verse I'm about to get them where it hurt Talking about a big three, they ain't know about me They got everybody talking, I'm the one they gotta see By the time they catch up, man, I'm somewhere down the street I could have signed with Khaled, we the best we receive If you wanna come and see, come on, follow me they standing in the line trying to stand next to me Mix the sauce and the pan with the beat to move your feet But we all share a paddle cause we all love to creep Let's Hard go. work, be talent, that's when talent don't work Either first or your last, man I'm trying to be first Hey, at an all time high, but it only get worse It was never it about get worse. who knew more It was never about who had the first god or whose god was this it was never about that. It was only about the truth. 
And as they always said, the truth shall set you free and nothing else. So if you can't handle the truth, you're not ready to live. Because when that fucking doctor comes in and when you go to that doctor's office and he can you go and sit down at his table and he does his little whatever he does. Say you have a, 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 a stomach CT scan on your stomach. You've been having stomach problems, right? Say you've been having real bad stomach problems. You got to go get a, a, a CT scan, a CAT scan, right? You have to be ready for the truth when that doctor comes in there and says, oh, everything's all right. Or when that doctor says, hey, man, you got stage three lung, uh, stomach cancer and, and, and there's no way to save it. See, if you're not ready for the truth, what are you going to do when the truth is told to you? See, the, when you're not ready for the truth, you can't even handle the truth when it's tossed your way. You gonna, somebody going to toss you the, the truth and then we're going to be like a hot potato in your hand. Because you're going to be like, no, this is not Jesus. I know this ain't the Bible that I'm used to. This ain't it. And you're going to drop the motherfucking truth. You know what I'm saying? Let me read these comments, man, so I can stay in tune with my people. SS said, I do it. You deserve it. You work very hard, not just for yourself, but your family and everyone. You keep it real. You changing the game. I appreciate and love you for that. A standing salute to you. SS, I appreciate and love you for understanding what I'm doing to even be able to, to, to grasp what I'm doing because my mama can't even grasp what the fuck I'm doing. My daddy can't even grasp what the fuck I'm trying to do. Motherfuckers next to me can't even grasp what the fuck I'm trying to do. And they criticize and scrutinize me and, and try to point fingers and I'm the closest thing to a fucking savior you, that we got. I'm the closest thing to a savior that we got. And I'm broke and ain't got no money and shit. So guess what? It's only so much I can do. It's only so much I can do. We were programmed to discredit and, and don't listen to each other. How we ever going to make something out of it? How we ever going to be able to get behind the true leaders? When we can't even pro, we're programmed to disrespect and discredit each other. Man, that nigga, he, that nigga beta, he alright. But that nigga, that nigga wear a ponytail. He must be gay. That nigga beta, he alright, but that nigga, he smoke every time on the video and I don't like to smoke. That nigga beta, he alright, but he cuss a lot and he's real passionate about how he talk. That nigga beta, he alright, but He's black with a big ass nose and I don't like it. That nigga better, he alright, but he think he all that, but he got missing teeth.